All right, so the motor controller is essentially done now. Uh, I have some software running on it now to actually control current. And uh, the only thing left to do hardware-wise is uh, finish the bottom plate in the enclosure and fasten these uh, temperature sensors to the corresponding uh, locations. Now, I'm a, I'm a big fan of my design here. Actually, I'm quite impressed with myself. Um, I really like how it all turned out. It's it's reasonably uh, annoying to take apart and put back together, but it's doable. And uh, yeah, as you can see, everything is uh, good to go. It's all put together and uh, all done. So here I have some preliminary software, or I should say it's pretty much the finalized software running, uh, running, running here. Uh, with the fluke meter over there, I have that one displaying uh, motor current. My motor in this case is these two coils of wire. Uh, my battery in this case is this power supply here, uh, set at about 20 volts. Uh, 20 volts there, and this is the current meter. I'll show you this again in a bit. Um, so yeah, so here's my throttle. So I'm just going to turn this up a little bit. And right now, the absolute max... Uh, current is set for 5 amps so the most we'll ever see here is roughly 5 amps so so I'll turn this up a little bit get it going it struggles a little bit at the very low currents because uh, of course the current sensors are 600 amp sensors so so I'll just set this at 2 amps or something here motor current we dial it in yeah, like I said it's bit tricky because these sensors don't work so 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 well at these super low currents here so we got about two amps there on the motor um, and here on the power supply you can see we have about half an amp and I'll turn this up some more let's take it to three amps there's three amps on the motor or thereabouts and about an amp on the power supply there now and I'm just gonna max it out which uh, right now is about five amps so there we go that's max throttle that's about 4.6 amps on the motor and about 2.1 or 2.2 amps on the power supply and I better turn it back down or these coils of wire here will overheat so so yeah we're pretty much we're good to go here um, yeah it's, it's working fantastic so uh, yeah good to go um, next step is just to test it out on the uh, on the motor and with uh, a battery and then uh, after that it's probably I have to the ne only next step after that is just to basically hook it up to full battery pack voltage and and uh, I'll freewheel the motor first just to give it a, a run and then after that the only other option is to hook up the, the motor to the chain or whatnot again and and I have to take it for a physical drive so I'm stoked this thing is uh, it's working and no no abnormalities here I uh, just need to uh, program in a little bit more error checking for uh, a couple of the current over limits and uh, uh, of course I have to verify that the temperature derating works properly. I also, I also have a section of code programmed in that does temperature derating so uh, as soon as the controller starts to warm up it starts to throttle back the maximum allowed current so uh, yeah things are going good here. I thought I'd just give you an update and uh, the next video will probably be uh, testing it on the bike or, or maybe in and around the bike so yeah stay tuned.